and a lot they got a lot of returns because Briar said that or the customers a defect. The customers thought it was a defect. Oh hey, it's me again, the Rainmaker. What's up, Flomies? It's flash flooding in Dallas. Yep. I mean, a rainmaker is a good term. So if I can make it rain, that's like really good, I think. So I'm stuck inside for this vlog. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a vlog. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Hmm, let me think up something. You know, like I feel like it's ever since I started the passion project and helping people get a lot of prosperity, but I've just been followed around by rain, which is a symbol of prosperity, and I'm hoping that I'm helping make people make it rain all over the place. So if you want to join me on the passion project, make sure to click the link in my Instagram bio or go to the passion project with ft.com. All right, let's get into it. An early birthday present came. It's almost my birthday time, y'all. This is from Alex's mom and dad. Crap, what am I gonna get you? I don't know. I already have ideas. Yeah. Are you my present? Are no, you being my birthday? This present? one is. I want this one. I'm taking it right now. Oh my god, it's so cute! Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Fallon. And these little donuts, they're little, this box smells incredible. Yeah, it does. These are little keychains, squishy, stress donuts that are not dog toys or tarpet. Get back. God, this box smells so good. If donuts could talk, you know you want me. Although we wanted to send you a card full of sentiments like you're special, we're happy, you'll be part of our family, etc. And all that is true, we couldn't resist this card when we saw it. It reminded us of hypnotic donuts and naturally your genes. Have a wonderful birthday, love, Lynn and Jeff. <laughs> AKA mom and dad, XO. Uh, yes! Look, it's a little back... Scratcher. Scra no, you uh -huh. take that. This is for the shower. Up to the right. Wait, more up. More right. It's like kind of the shoulder, like here, yeah. In the left. You're so weird. In the down, further, more middle. Ugh, so they just keep moving. Down right. I'm done. Oh, okay. This is so cute. The it's bath little bomb. bath bombs. Everybody knows. I'm the bath bomb girl. Bring me bath bombs. I'm so excited. Oh, they smell so freaking good too. I wish they had Smell-O-Vision on YouTube. Andy doesn't smell very good right now. Andy smells like pond water. <gasps> Yay! I've never known where to get one of these. It's a bath pillow. You suction cups in the back of the bath and then you take a little snooze. Okay, so. Today, we are going to ask Fallon some questions about her briar horse. So, because I personally didn't know the story of how that came about. So I figured you guys would want to know that too. If you didn't already know, um, one of the craziest, coolest, most amazing things that's ever happened in my entire career is that me and my horse were emulated into an action figure. Me. Like the doll of me was not made and like mass produced and there is a doll of me and I literally cannot find it like cannot buy it um, But there is a doll of me that Briar made so the doll of baby Flo and I looks like this and it was back when I had the red hair and She looks so much like me down to the tack that I used that year like looks just like me and it was on the cover of um, a magazine so a Briar collectible magazine Flynn Stop moving around with your nails. Plenty. That wasn't mass produced.
produced, but she was used in one photo shoot and I so wish that I could own that doll. And I've also been made into an action figure with Baby Flo with a toy um, from BC Toys that looks like this. But specifically we're talking today about the briar horse of Baby Flo. So, so what is unique about your briar horse? There's so many things that are unique about What's the most unique thing about it compared to all the other it's ones? It's my horse. Besides that. <laughs> if you go into a store full of briars, Baby Flo's box is the only pink one. Boom. I knew that. It's pink and glittery. What else makes it unique? Like little things, details they might not know. Oh, details like on the horse yeah. itself? So the first run of Baby Flo briars that got shipped, Baby Flo has got a scar under her right ear. Um, and Briar, when they called me about doing this, had me take very detailed pictures of every single part of Baby Flo. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget Stormy and I taking these pictures. And I have to tell you guys, like, I'll get to all of that later. But anyway, we took a bunch of pictures of Baby Flo. And they said, what's the thing under her right ear? And I'm like, that's a scar. And so they, of course, made the Briar with the scar. And a lot, they got a lot of returns because Briar said that, or the customers, a defect. the customers thought it was a defect. So anyway, everybody thought that the Briar had a paint chip and it was actually just a scar. So what other things are unique about it? Is there specific tack you remember using that is on Baby Flo? Well, Baby Flo, the briar is nothing. naked. There's okay. nothing on it. But my brand is on it, which is mm -hmm. really cool. Just trying to get settled in the studio. So when was the Baby Flo briar released? What year? I think it was 2015. And are they still making it, or is They're it like limited edition? They're still making it. Baby Flo Briar is still in production. Uh huh. So I think it was 2015. So I'd won the world, and then what was really cool is I had stalled my horse at a place where the owner owned a Briar horse, mm -hmm. and it was so cool because I was talking to her about it. She was like, "They actually made our show horse into a Briar," and I'm I was talking to her, and it's like so much of what. I talk to people about about like visualizing things and writing down goals and mm -hmm. I never even crossed my mind that Briar could even make a horse like that as an option. Yeah. And then this lady that had her horse that was a show horse made into a Briar, I started thinking about that and started dreaming about that. Like, wow, wouldn't it be cool for Baby Flo to be a Briar horse? And it was only like so it was only like 90 days after I left that lady's house mm -hmm. that I was approached by Briar and Briar was driven nuts by Flomies mm -hmm. to produce Baby Flo. There is like this underground scene of like Briar collectors yeah. and they range in all, you know, all ages and they kept pushing Briar to make a Baby Flo horse. I had nothing to do with it. I'm so honored. I have to tell you like, so many moments when the briar came out, I would literally go in Baby Flo stall and hug her and cry. I was gonna ask if you cried when it came out. I've cried multiple times. Did you cry when you saw it for the first time? Yes, I sobbed yeah. like a baby. How many of them do you own? Two. Okay. Are you ever gonna give them up? No, I have number one and number two. That's and cool. I have number one and number two because my mom um, never would take her, I gave my parents the number one, mm -hmm. and they won't take it home. Why not? Like, they give me all of Baby Flo's, like, awards, and they won't take it home. So they gotta get number two. They won't take it. So we gotta give them number 808 million yeah. 17th. Yeah. Okay. How many have you given away and signed? Because we've done it, like, two or three times. Remember we did one, like, when we found it in Wisconsin somewhere, and then we found it at oh, yeah. Fort Worth. I love doing scavenger hunts with them. Yeah. So if I walk into a store that has a Baby Flow Briar, I just like, I am so obsessed with it that I buy the Briar for full price. I don't even tell people that that's my horse. I videoed mm -hmm. myself numerous times doing this. You used to do it on Snapchat a lot. A lot, and then I sign it, and I either leave it at that store and Snapchat for somebody to come to that store and buy it, mm -hmm. or I will Snapchat and leave it somewhere as a scavenger. Where else hunt. did we see it? So we saw it, we had it, we got it one we at Fort Worth. We saw it like a dozen times. 
And then, no, there's a, oh, Texas State Fair. Texas State Fair. And you gave it away to somebody showing pigs or something, yep. right? Yeah. I just have to tell you, like, I'm gonna go into deep thoughts. Okay. With Ellen uh -oh. Taylor. The danger zone. Hit me, hit yep. me with your piece. Deep Thoughts with Fallon and Alex. So my deep thought for today is, it wasn't in my realm of possibility to even think about a briar horse, but the minute that it clicked with me that a briar horse was even a thing, a possibility, that could even happen, when my mind started to expand that that was the new level, that was the new ceiling of effort that I was willing to have, was to chase down this goal of having my own briar horse, it happened so quickly. So I want you to think about what are the things that you haven't pursued hard enough. Think even bigger, think way outside of the realm of possibility and just write it down, something that would be the most astronomically amazing thing that would ever happen to you and write it down and see how fast you can get closer to that thing um, than you ever have before. Like we sponsored NASCAR this year. I never thought we would do that. It never even entered my mind actually. It never entered my mind yeah. to even consider that as a goal for one of my companies until yeah. I saw you do it. Which is really cool. And Jeffrey had his best race ever actually that race too, which is really cool. So shout out to him. He did awesome. It was really exciting for all of us. Um, you have an action figure, which is like, I mean, that's like next yeah, like level. Crazy. But what other things have you done that you never thought you'd do? I never thought I would win the world. Yeah. And I never thought that I would find true love. Mm -hmm. And I never thought I would own a blue Did Frenchie. you find true love? Yeah. And I never thought that I would own a Frenchie. That little potato? And I've always dreamed of having a bull terrier. Mm-hmm. And I never thought I would have a cool modern house like I'd always seen in magazines. Mm-hmm. And I never thought I'd have a rose gold yeah, Tesla. I was gonna say that one. And I never thought I'd have a big old diamond ring, like I could pick it up. That's just Dang stuff. Man. What the more important message here is, the person that you can become in the pursuit of those things, mm -hmm. because all this stuff can go away. And it's yep. not what makes you, um, but it is just a symbol of the value I've been at, able to add to other people. That's all it is, is a symbol of my um, my value. Did you ever think you'd be doing clinics in front of like 50 people at a time that come to pay and tr pay and travel to you? No, I had no idea. Or have 250 people at your ranch? Yeah, I never. And then next that was year, just cool for me to see. We're geared up to have like 650 people at the ranch. Yeah, that's gonna be so, insane. I'm so excited. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed story time with Alex and I about Baby Flo's Briar. If you wanna pick up one of those Briar horses, um, you can go to, well, Tractor Supply has them. Mm, a um, lot of tax stores. A lot of tax stores, a lot of farm stores. Yep. Um, we might do a limited edition amount of Briar horses that I will go ahead and sign and put them at the ranch. Um, to cool. send out like on FallonTaylor.com, we will see. I want you to comment below what a goal is that would be absolutely crazy that you just can't even wrap your head around. Write it down in the comments below. I'll do a giveaway tomorrow. Um, but I think that would be like the coolest thing ever to talk about what it is that you think you can't do and then screenshotting it and sending it to me like a year from now, having accomplished that goal would be so cool. Uh, do you want to tell them about the passion project too? I want to tell you guys about shopthemerch.com. <clears throat> oh, okay, uh-huh. Because we wear this merch in them streets and I've been seeing y'all like shout out to you guys on the gram. Not, I, not merch. This is not merch, this is Arnold. But <laughs> I have been seeing you guys and liking your stuff and giving you shout outs on the gram. I'm so proud of you. I wanna mm -hmm. feature you on Ranch Dressin's Instagram. So make sure to use hashtag Ranch Dressin on everything. And mm -hmm. um, for a lot of you guys that we've talked about a lot of material stuff and business and just goals, we have been helping 280 people now for the month um, with their budgeting, with saving money, with having more customers in their business with starting their own business. Alex and I go live five days a week helping people and we want to help you too. So make sure to go to this URL, the passion project with ft.com and join us over there because we're in the middle of a huge learning curve with everybody and helping people get amazing results. 
um, we were able to help people raise three hundred thousand dollars in less than thirty days. So well, very she did proud that. Of that. I just help and yeah, but now we're trying to say together. cool things for you guys. Yeah, now we're doing it together. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today. Alex, it's your favorite part. You don't ready? For, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you tomorrow. <laughs>